Hey everybody, Pastor McKenzie again. I'm back on this uh, a wonderful, wonderful platform where we are going to continue with this uh, live stream and uh, talking about this great subject of forgiveness. Uh, like I said yesterday, forgiveness is, uh, is a decision process, which means you have to uh, decide for this process to become um, a reality in your life. You don't forgive uh, by accident. You don't heal by accident. It's a decision process. And today I just want to um, uh, address one aspect of forgiveness, which really does matter. Um, we want to, to do elimination. Elimination, we want to start by identifying what forgiveness is not. What forgiveness is not. I'm going to start on uh, what forgiveness is not, because I've learned in my life, in my teaching, in my growth, that people uh, struggle with anything that they're not prepared to learn. So in other words, when we walk into the newness of, uh, of, of knowledge and wisdom and something new that we need to know, uh, the enemies of that is what we already knew before we knew what we're about to know. So we're going to work with uh, elimination, what forgiveness is not. What is it that forgiveness is not? Because if I were to ask you right now, everybody has got their own understanding of what forgiveness is, but I want to address um, what forgiveness is not. And I'm going to give you uh, seven things that forgiveness is not. And this is extremely important. And number one, forgiveness is not approval. Forgiveness is not approval. Forgiveness is not condoning that whatever hurt that happened to you uh, didn't happen. You, you, are not, you are not saying it's okay uh, that I was hurt. Forgiveness is not approval. So many people do not forgive because they assume there's a misconception that if I do forgive the person who hurt me, then I'm, I'm approving the hurt that they caused on me. So number one, forgiveness is not approval. Forgiveness is not condoning. And the second thing you discover is that forgi forgiveness is not forgetting. Forgiveness is not forgetting. It's not pretending that uh, the hurt didn't happen. No, no. Forgiveness is not forgetting. Okay, forgiveness is not pretending. Here's what I've discovered as a pastor and as a counselor. People talk about forgive and forget. Forgive and forget. Okay, what, what, what does that mean? <laughs> Listen, um, uh, 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 how do you forget something that you remember? How can you forget, for, forget something that you remember? All of us on this line and many who are going to watch, the millions who are going to watch, you're going to discover that once you are hurt, um, you, 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 you always remember the hurt. Okay, so when people say forgive and forget, what does that mean? Well, forgiveness is not forgetting, all right? It's not pretending that something didn't happen. Forgiveness is change of your original intention. <laughs> In other words, the day you were hurt, you, you had an intention. You know, you hit me, I'll hit you back, all right? It's not that you forget. No, 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 you always remember Forgiveness is not forgetting, but forgiveness is change of your original intention. All right? Here's number three. Number three, what is it that forgiveness is not? Forge forgiveness is not justifying. Okay, when I forgive you, I'm not, I'm not justifying what you did to me. So many people don't forgive because they don't want to justify uh, what was done to them. And I'm here to let you know that forgiveness is not justifying. When you forgive, you're not justifying that you deserve what you went through, that it was okay. No, no, no. Forgiveness is not justifying. And then number four, uh, forgiveness is not an obligation. Forgiveness is not an obligation. Forgiveness is a choice. Forgiveness is not an obligation. And I want to talk to many of us who are Christians because Christians struggle with this. You know, how can you call yourself a Christian and, and uh, you, you don't forgive me? And if you have forgiven me, how come you're not talking to me? <laughs> if you have forgiven me, how come we're not friends anymore? Okay, so we want to talk about forgiveness is not an obligation. You cannot force anyone to forgive you. You cannot force anyone to forgive you. Forgiveness is a choice. And someone who is on this line who has been hurt by somebody else, I want you to understand that uh, it's not an obligation that you forgive them. It's a choice that you make that you forgive them. So forgiveness is not an obligation. Please hear me on this one. It's not an obligation. If you are a Christian, if you love me, if you're going to heaven, if you are a, a good person, then you should, then you must. Now, forgiveness is a choice. 
It is a choice. Somebody asked me uh, today and said, well, why is it difficult to forgive? Well, because we are human and because life happens and because it is a choice. You are as powerful as your choices. That's why I truly do believe you can forgive everybody for everything, every time, if you choose to. Forgiveness is not an obligation. Nobody can force you uh, to forgive. No, no, you cannot force anybody to forgive you. Even when you say, I'm sorry, your acknowledgement of wrong does not put an obligation on the offended person to forgive you. Forgiveness is not an obligation. It's a choice. Number five, it's not giving in. Forgiveness is not giving in. Forgiveness is not giving in. When you forgive somebody, you're not giving in. See, that's the temptation. The temptation is, how can I forgive you? Because if I do, then I'm giving in. <laughs> Forgiveness is not giving in. If, simply because you forgive. You, we, we are going to go through with this. I'll be here, same hour, uh, I don't know, for the whole year. We're going to deal with this thing because we are going to tear it apart in small pieces so that we fully understand this powerful gift called forgiveness. Forgiveness is the one gift you must give to yourself. Forgiveness does for you more than it does to the one who has offended you. If anything, you're going to learn to forgive yourself. And we're going to get there and show you how it can be done. So forgiveness is not giving in. You're not giving in when you forgive somebody. Okay? Forgiveness, now this is very important, number six. Forgiveness is not reconciliation. No, it's not. It's not reconciliation. <laughs> Forgiveness is not reconciliation. But he is a kicker. You cannot be reconciled before you forgive. Okay? So forgiveness is the first step. Now, when it comes to forgiveness, with forgiveness, you just need you. You know, you, 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 you can forgive someone who died 20 years ago. They don't have to be resurrected for you to forgive them because forgiveness is a choice that you make. So forgiveness needs one, a minimum of one person and reconciliation needs a minimum of two people. Okay, so forgiveness has got its own ways and what is needed for you to accomplish it and it's a choice and reconciliation takes two people. So forgiveness is not reconciliation. Okay, when you forgive somebody, it doesn't mean I need to call you. I need to have your, your, your number in my phone. No, I can forgive you and delete your name and block you, but you're still forgiven. <laughs> See, God says in the Bible, my people perish for lack of knowledge. Okay, it is knowing we need to know. If we don't know, and then Proverbs chapter four says, with all you're getting, get wisdom. So many of us, when you look into your life, you're going to discover that some of the offenders of your pain are the same people over and over again. Because many of us have not known how to, to separate uh, and know what forgiveness is not. It's not reconciliation. You can forgive somebody and walk from them and never talk to them again. Okay, because you need to understand it. Forgiveness is not reconciliation. I'll say it again. Forgiveness is not reconciliation. I have counseled a lot of people who uh, were hurt by somebody and, and they forgave them and, 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 and um, you know, they gave them the keys again and they came to the house again and, and then they did it again. And, and then over and over, now you've got emotional scar tissue because you, you are making forgiveness reconciliation. Forgiveness is not reconciliation. If you have any question, type in there, throw it up, and tomorrow I'm going to address that, okay? And we're going to actually talk about the difference between forgiveness and reconciliation. You'll love that. We're not going to do that tomorrow, but you're going to love it. It's so powerful when you know. So there's somebody who is having sleepless nights. There's somebody who is having uh, uh, um, uh, eating disorders. There's somebody who cannot enjoy being on the job because you think forgiveness is reconciliation. No, forgiveness is not reconciliation. I see my friend of many years, Doug, Douglas Mapeta. Thank you, sir, for coming along. We're just going to have a good time. Here it is. Number seven, forgiveness and trust are not the same. Forgiveness and trust are not the same. Okay? So people always say, Pastor, um, you know, I forgive him. How come he doesn't trust me? No, 
Forgiveness and trust are two different things. Okay, so I'm going to run it down again. The seven things we need to understand what forgiveness is not. You need to understand this. You can never forgive by accident and you don't heal by accident. Forgiveness is a decision process that you must go through. And here's the elimination principle. What is, um, we want to know what forgiveness is not. So number one, we said forgiveness is not approval. When you forgive, you're not approving, you're not condoning the hurt that was inflicted on you. When you are forgiving, uh, you are not forgetting and pretending that something didn't happen. So forgiveness is not forgetting. Forgiveness is not pretending that something didn't happen. Forgiveness is changing the original intention when you were hurt. Number three, forgiveness is not justifying. Simply because I forgive you, it doesn't mean I'm justifying the hurt that you did. Or simply because somebody forgives you, it doesn't mean they're justifying the, the hurt or the wrong that you did. Okay, This is extremely important. Forgiveness is not an obligation. It's not an obligation. It's a choice. Nobody can force you to forgive them, and you cannot force anybody to forgive you. Forgiveness is not an obligation. Forgiveness is a choice. If you choose, you can choose, you can forgive everybody for everything, every time, if you choose, because it's your choice. Okay? Number five, forgiveness is not giving in. When you forgive, you're not giving in. And number six, forgiveness is not reconciliation. Forgiveness is not reconciliation. You can forgive, they can forgive you, and that doesn't mean you are back to what it used to be before the hurt happens. This is where many people get in trouble because many of us, we, we forgive and then we, go, we immediately go back as if nothing happened. So you are training yourself to, to pretend that nothing has happened. So you, reconciliation is going back to where we were before the hurt happened and there is a process and there is time that's, that's needed and there is growth that needs it and you must walk the walk in order for us to be reconciled. Okay, I'll put it this way. Some of you are saying, Pastor, how does this work to a Christian? Okay, we, in Christ Jesus, the Bible says we were reconciled to God. Isn't that right? So when Jesus died on the cross, we were forgiven and reconciled to God. Watch this. At the day you are saved, the rest of your life, you are becoming what you are. <laughs> That's called sanctification. It's a process of a lifetime. Okay, that's why there are expectations in the Bible. You know, thou shalt not lie, thou shalt not kill. Those are not things for you to become saved. Those are things that you do because you are saved. So it's a process where you grow into the person that you are. So forgiveness gives an opportunity, a chance to reconciliation to be a consideration. And then number seven, forgiveness and trust are not the same thing. Okay, simply because you forgive somebody don't mean you trust them. Come on, watch out out there. <laughs> simply because you forgive somebody, it doesn't mean they've changed. Okay, so don't, don't come around and say, oh yeah, I changed. You forget. No, no, forgiveness is a choice. I can give it to you whether you ask for it or you don't. And because forgiveness is not approval, listen to me, this is the last one. Because forgiveness is not approval, standing your ground is not unforgiveness. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Many, many struggle with this, especially believers, man. You know, forgiveness is not approval. Because it is not approval, you need to understand that standing your ground is not unforgiveness. Because people say, well, if you have forgiven me, then why are you standing your ground? Oh, you need to understand uh, standing my ground doesn't mean I haven't forgiven you. Standing my ground simply means I want to be health for me. I want to grow for me. I want, I, I, I'm setting you free so that I can fly. So tomorrow at the same time, my friends, we're going to talk about authentic forgiveness. How does authentic forgiveness look like? How can I tell if I have forgiven? So if you're here, come invite some friends and let's come and let's journey together 
And I just want to have a quick prayer on you, please. I believe in prayer and I believe that God has to help us in some of the things in our lives that we think we have forgiven. Anybody who has ever felt like you had forgiven somebody and when you met them at someone's wedding, you felt funny? <laughs> I'm not the only one. I mean, sometimes you think you're forgiven somebody simply because they're absent from you. When you see them at church, you feel funny. When, when you hear their name, your heart starts beating fast. That means something hasn't happened yet. Tomorrow, we're going to talk about how authentic forgiveness looks like. I'm here to be your coach if you give me a chance. Um, and everything we are learning, they are in my book that I wrote, Radical a radical release, but don't worry about that. We're going to get it here. Uh, and please, any questions you have, uh, send the questions. Tomorrow, we are going to get it done. Because forgiveness is not approval, standing your ground is not unforgiveness. Let's pray. Father, thank you so much for this family that you have made us to become on this Facebook platform. Help each and every one of us. You know where we are. Help us, God, to become what you want us to be. Um, Dry the tears, heal the hurts, give us the wisdom we need. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Thank you so much, my friends. See you again tomorrow. Please hit me up, throw in your comments, because we want to progress on purpose. Many of us just need a coach to show us how, and I'm available. Let's make 2021 a better year for us. Blessings on you.